Now, the president faces an uphill battle to overturn the federal judge's ruling on his asylum proclamation. Our team coverage continues with our 10 News reporter Lauren Davis and the legal roadblocks to cutting off certain ports of entry. It's a disgrace, in my opinion. It's a disgrace what happens with the Ninth Circuit. We will win that case in the Supreme Court of the United States. President Trump today vowing to take his fight to the Supreme Court. This after a federal judge ruled against his November 9th asylum proclamation. The president tried to say migrants can only come through at recognized ports of entry, and those who disobey that order will be ineligible for asylum. But the federal judge disagreed, saying the proclamation irreconcilably conflicts with immigration law and the expressed intent of Congress. Furthermore, saying he may not rewrite the immigration laws to impose a condition that Congress has expressly forbidden. We talked to Eileen Durst, an immigration law professor who studied immigration law for 40 years, and says the ruling is correct and doubts the Supreme Court will overturn the decision. These caravans are fully within their right to come to the United States and seek political asylum. It is their right under U.S. law, it is their right under international treaties to which we are a signatory and uh, they deserve to have their claims heard and adjudicated appropriately. Eileen Durst went on to say there is one very slim chance in which the Supreme Court might overturn the ruling, and that is if the president declares our nation under a national emergency. I asked her if that would hold up, and she gives her answer tonight at 6. Lauren Davis, 10 News. And you can follow any new developments on this story by downloading our free mobile app. Just go to the App Store and search 10 News.